Hey everybody and welcome back. In this week's video, we will be making a thermite grenade from the Battle Royale Apex Legends. Okay, so the easiest way to start this is to make the body of the grenade. And to do this, we're going to get a PVC pipe and two different beverage containers. We'll go ahead and cut the ends off these beverage containers until we have two small cylinder shapes. For the clear plastic container, we'll go ahead and cut it just once. And as you can see here, it folds into itself automatically. This will be the housing inside the PVC pipe to allow us to see inside the grenade. For now, we'll put that to the side and we'll move on to our aluminum can portion. We're also going to add a cut about every centimeter in the can. Using a ruler, we'll go ahead and mark off some vertical lines on the back side of our aluminum. Once we're happy with those lines, we'll use our scissors and we'll cut them. Once those strips are cut, we'll go ahead and spray paint them gray or a dark black color and then we'll cut them down into these small two inch pieces. We'll put those to the side and we'll get our PVC housing that we're gonna use. We'll go ahead and cut a small rectangle in the very middle of it and pop that open. And for those of you who are curious, I just used a rotary tool for that. I also will spray paint this the same color. And then once that is ready, we'll go ahead and put our clear plastic tubing in. And it is dirty, and that's mostly just because I glued it so it keeps its shape. Uh, but don't worry, that glue will be covered by our strips that, as you can see here, will be placed into both sides of the tubes. We'll secure the strips down so they're not all fraying on the sides. And then, as you can see here, we have a lot of excess. So using our scissors, we'll just cut them off and make them flush with the tubing. Then using a skinnier and longer piece of aluminum, which we also spray painted, we'll go ahead and wrap that around the edges to really finish it and keep it all together. Once we're happy with the body of our grenade, we'll move on to the ends. And for this case, I just got two pieces of PVC, which I spray painted red. We can now move to the fun part. So we'll go ahead and get these orange glow sticks and crack them up a bit. Once they're cracked, let's go ahead and get a small glue stick and glue them around so we can make this glow stick tube. However, we're going to run into a problem. As you can see here, this will go inside of our thermite grenade to make it look like it's glowing. However, it's a little bit too long for our body of our grenade. So in that case, we're just going to get some scissors and we'll cut off the ends to make it fit. And then so none of the glow juice comes out, I'll go ahead and secure that with some hot glue. This is our newly sized tube. We'll put one side of the grenade in and then we'll slide in the glow in the dark tube and the other end that's still open. Glue on the other end and voila, we basically have the whole entire grenade. However, there are a few more additions we need to add, such as painting and a little bit more details here and there. Now, we could finish here, but what's the fun in that? So let's go ahead and make this a functioning thermite grenade. I got these party sparklers from the party supply store. I went ahead and I used a saw and cut them down and I got these small one inch sections of it. I went ahead and taped the ends so none of the powder would come out of them. Then using some hot glue, I glued them into each end of the grenade. And the only thing left to do is to light each end and offer an amazing photo opportunity. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want me to make next.